We're taking you live to the Museum of Flight right now. Always a wonderful place to go with family, friends. You get to see all these incredible aircraft. You get to walk on board as well. So the reason we're taking you there is because there's actually a special screening today at the Museum of Flight about a man who inspired the space race generation. And joining us now is filmmaker Douglas Stewart Jr., producer, writer, director of the award-winning documentary Chesley Bonestell. Did I say the last name right? Chesley Bonestell. Bonestell. And the film is called A Brush with the Future. Chesley Bonestell, A Brush with the Future. Now it's going to be shown in Seattle at the Museum of Flight for the first time at 2 p.m. today. So tell us more about Chesley. Well, Chesley is this long lost artist who had an incredible influence on our space program. And um, he started his remarkable career. He was born in 1888 and he was an artist and an architect. And he became a part of wonderful uh, things that were just, they, they were historical undertakings that became, he had no idea when they started it, but uh, he was a part of the design of the Chrysler Building in New York. Really? He was. And then he went on to create wonderful renderings that helped get the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco sold to wow. the public. And then he went to Hollywood and he became a special effects map painter. And he worked on fantastic films like Citizen Kane. Really? He did the Xanadu Castle in Citizen Kane and a film called Destination Moon. He had a lot of wonderful... He worked on Destination Moon, which... Well, coincidentally, is the name of the exhibit at the Museum of Flight today. And he put together a series of paintings that he sold to Life magazine in 1944 wow. that, that actually went on to inspire our, our space program. They, it really hit, it hit the public in, at a time when World War II was going on, and uh, it gave everybody hope to go out and explore the final frontier, something new that appealed to Americans a lot better than fighting a war in Europe. Well, absolutely. I mean, the one thing that unites us all about space is the fact that it's something that's a common goal of all of ours. And, and looking at those photos, what a visionary. I mean, not only did the space race, I mean, it, it inspired us. And by the way, you can see Destination Moon, the, the film you were speaking of, in the Apollo exhibit, which is also called Destination Moon at the Museum of Flight, so you can see really in person what he's talking about. But it really inspired so much of just our culture, really, it seems like, even down to, to design of furniture and, and such. Chesley had this amazing ability to impart something magic in his paintings. And people looked at, at something, it's a painting called Saturn is Seen from Titan, and it's called the painting that launched a thousand careers. <gasps> because people, you know, young men and women looked at that painting and they decided, I want to go there, I want to be in that setting. I want to explore other planets and outer space. He called to us in a way that sort of touches our natural fascination, admiration, and love of space, of the heavens and the stars. Yeah. And his tour of the solar system, they were planets that he painted them when there, were, there weren't satellites or, or high-powered telescopes. Oh my and that goodness. you're looking at Saturn is seen from Titan right now. He pa that's a painting. That's a painting, yes. And you know, there was really no way to know what places looked like in that day because there just was not the technology. So people wondered, how did he know? And that's really why I call this film A Brush with the Future, because he really was able to take us to places in ways that, that photographs or whatever it was, I mean, looking up, there's something absolutely magical and transformational about Chesley's work. Absolutely, almost like a Jules Verne of his own. Absolutely, and, and uh, this is the cover uh, painting on a book called The Conquest of Space, published in 1949. These, um, this book was really a landmark book in terms of getting people fired up about exploring space because Chesley made it look real, possible, attainable, and then he went on to work with Werner von Braun and Willie Ley and he took their formulas and their charts and their graphs and everything and converted it into beautiful paintings that helped get the space program off the ground. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is incredible. Thank you for sharing this with us. What time today? And you said you've got this. Oh, yes. Well, we're actually, we have wonderful coverage. Uh, there's an article in Sky and Telescope magazine, the September issue. There's a beautiful six-page article Ooh. called Postcards from the Future, all about Chesley and his work and about the film. So please come on out. It's at 2 o'clock today. You can also go to my website, 
chesleybonestell.com and find out more information about everything. Well, I'm so glad that you took the time to show us this wonderful, inspiring man with us. My pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. Absolutely. All right.